Hi everyone, this is your chess puzzler. Today I'm going to look at part two of the Beautibus Gambit and particularly another trap against the white pieces. If you haven't watched the first part of the Beautibus Gambit, please watch it so you are somewhat familiar with this particular opening. The Gambit starts with d4, knight of 6, c4, e5. White has a number of options and can either accept or decline it. In this particular session, I shall be looking at a capture d5. So after capturing the e-pawn, the knight goes to g4. White has many moves available, with the most popular being knight f3, bishop f4 or knight c3. According to standard theory, we know that bringing out the queen or moving the same piece more than needed is not a good sign and we shall look at what happens if the white decides to bring out his queen at the early phase of the game. So should white play his queen to d4, black's reply is to challenge the pawn on e5, also covering the knight at the same time. After white captures the pawn and black recaptures with the bishop, white can directly attack the bishop with c5. What would you play here if you had the black pieces and if I give you 10 seconds to think? Knight c6 is the recommended move, which is not very difficult to find. After the queen is forced to move, the best possible move for her is to return to her original square to d1. Again, with the black pieces, can you find the best move for black? Please take 15 seconds to think over your next move. Black takes f2 is a killer move and white has very little choice but to take the knight in order to save both his queen and rook. By taking the knight on f2, the king is fully exposed and none of his pieces are developed other than the c-pawn. The move to c5 with the check spells the end for white in a few moves. For example, if the king retrieves to his original square, the bishop can check on f2, causing white to lose his queen with the next move, and the game is as good as over. There is absolutely nothing white can do to save the game at this stage. How will white fare if he decides to take a walk and move to f3? After the queen threatens with a check on f6, white can only delay the mate by blocking the check with his bishop. Having no better move, after the bishop has blocked f4 and the check from black, black can now produce a new check with his knight on e5. Since the king has no squares to go to, but only g3, after his move to g3, the black queen attacks the king with a check on g6, but once again forces the king to the only legal square on h4. With queen to g4, the white king is checkmated in only 12 moves. Today's short lesson to learn is not to bring out the queen at an early stage of the game and especially when she cannot be supported by her other pieces. In the example we provided today, the white pieces did not even get a chance to develop because black produced a vicious attack and gave no hope whatsoever for white to ever even make it beyond the opening stages of the game. Thanks for watching and taking part in this clip. I will be back for more on this particular opening and shall be looking at more parts to follow shortly.